Suddenly, Barbie's moving. G'day, how's it going? If you only see one film in 2023, see Indiana Jones. Oh, I bumped my head. <laughs> and the Dial of Destiny. Did I bump my head before I made that recommendation? No, I'm in clear minds about this subject. Indiana Jones is the greatest movie I've seen all year. What's the worst one? Well, you don't have to go all the way to see Sound of Freedom to see a human exploitation trafficking film. Nah, you can just go to check out the new Barbie movie. That's right, they made a movie about the plastic doll that girls play with because girls are social, they like to fashion and dressing up in different clothes. Whereas boys play with He-Man, at least I did. Master of the Universe is still one of my favorite films of all time. Now I got nothing against Barbie, and I know this new movie wasn't made for me. Far from it. But um, growing up, my sisters used to watch Barbie and the Rockets out of this world videotape where Barbie, a uh, singing astronaut, goes back in time to 1959. That was fine. Um, boys and girls could enjoy that. But now, Barbie is just for feminism. That's right, it's a vehicle to say that all men suck. Ken in the movie, I feel pity for him. He lives in Barbie world with all the other Kens, but is slavery too strong a word? Um, they have no, no purpose, no identity. He just wants to be with Barbie. Because, you know, I guess in the, in the hierarchy of the film, they're just toys. So that makes sense. Ken is always with Barbie. So he's never just Ken. But then they go to the real world. I might just mention at this stage that Barbie is played by the Aussie Margot Robbie from Ramsey Street fame, Neighbours. She's come a long way. Now she's a plastic doll who hates men. Um, they go to the real world. Um, the real world looks like it's controlled by men. They go to like Mattel headquarters and nothing but men on the board. Which isn't true. I'm sure there must be some women in charge of Barbie. I haven't done any research into this, but surely this isn't a man's creation. Maybe I should do some research. Oh, the creator of Barbie stole it from a German doll. Who was a woman. And Barbie talks to this creator at the end of the film. She, she didn't create the Barbie design or anything, but in the real world, Ken sees that he is treated with a little bit of dignity and respect as a human being. So he takes that knowledge back to Barbie land where he rises up the other Kens to take charge. So back to Masters of the Universe, He-Man is the rebel in that. Skeletor controls Eternia and He-Man and his band of rogues have to come back to Eternia and take control to restore peace and hope. Now, in this Barbie movie, Barbie is Skeletor. Or maybe the Kate McKinnon character, my cousin. How's it going, Kate? Um, so yeah, role reversals for sure. And even in Masters of the Universe, there were strong female characters. We had Courtney Cox, not a damsel in distress. She could take care of herself. She had plans for the future. Um, Evil Lynn, she was pretty much running the show. So yeah, and the sorceress, the goddess of Grayskull. It's been a while since I've seen that film. But let's hope I'm right with the female characters. Otherwise my whole point will fall apart. But no, okay, let me boil this down basically. There's exceptions, but men build things. Women are way more social. They like fashion, clothes, decorating. They're better mothers than men, okay? flat out and say it. Women create people. I can't imagine a, a better job on this world. Creating life. That's what we're dealing with. But Barbies, all they do is party all night in Barbie world. That's not much of a life, and girls are doing that. 
going out every Friday, Saturday night, nightclubs, dancing. It's not fun, like in the short term, yeah. But no, you want to prepare for the future, which is what good little girls used to do. In the beginning, they rip off Stanley Kubrick's, I mean, pay homage to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, with little girls just playing with uh, baby dolls as they used to do for centuries. But then Barbie comes along and it becomes an inspirational story. Even though her height and measurements no, one, no living person can live up to, nor should they, but there's something missing when you just want to have clothes and flashy cars and a dream house. And they kind of address that in the film, but the, the segregation of the Kens at the end? Oh my goodness. I hope little girls don't go see this movie. The Gloria, the middle-aged mother, and Sasha, they don't even tell the, the father and husband that the, they're going to go to Barbie World and how long are they going to be away? He's going to be worried, sick about them. But no, he doesn't have to know because he's an awful man. Look, you need men, you need women. Families have been around since the dawn of time, ironically enough, back to the Kubrick um, homage. Women are better at raising children because women can multitask. Again, I'm generalizing, but from my experience, having sisters, a wife, a goddaughter, Women can handle a lot of things. Men, if you put kids around men, you end up like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Kindergarten Cop. Shut up! Then they go outside and, and hif, lift heavy things. Again, generalizing, but that's how society has worked forever. I don't get it. I guess they're, they're pushing back against that. They want women to be in charge, just party all night, have a great time. Then Barbie chooses the real world in the end and goes to the gynecologist, I guess. Again, kids shouldn't see this film. I guess if you're a feminist lefty, go ahead. It's a great laugh. I fell asleep. Um, I wish I'd just seen Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny twice. Maybe I should. But cheers for casting an Aussie as Barbie.